And for the headlines, weather forecast, warm easterly winds impact weather in eastern southern Luzon, Visayas and Mindanao. Local news, Pidea Region 10 faces challenges in drug clearing operations in Cagayan de Oro. Comelec limits voluntary substitution for 2025 election candidates. LGBT plus member found dead under the bed. Son of ex-army suspected in gas station theft. National news. Official rumor that former PNP chief may have assisted Go in his escape is unfunded. International news. Trump excludes the possibility of running again in 2028 if he loses in the upcoming U.S. elections. Entertainment Blooms get a sneak peek of Beanie's docuseries Chapter 1, Born to Win. Sports MMA Joshua Pasho draws inspiration from Demetrios Johnson's flawless retirement. International Feature Woman caught with suspected cocaine bullets in stomach. National Feature Piston, Manibela Hold Transport Strike and New Government Downplays Impact. Trivia What does spicy food do to your body? If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community. Good morning Philippines, Magana umaga Luzon, Ogmayo Adla, Visayas of Mindanao. Today is Thursday, September 26, 2024. I am Athalia Pisaniel. Local news. PDA Region 10 faces challenges in drug clearing operations in Cagayan de Oro. The Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency Region 10 has acknowledged that the highly urbanized status of Cagayan de Oro presents significant challenges to their mission of declaring the city drug cleared or drug free, a major goal of the anti drug campaign in northern Mindanao. The sprawling urban landscape, along with the fast Paced lifestyle and dense population adds layers of complexity to their operations. According to Pidea Misamis Oriental Team Supervisor Expedito Cardona, despite years of continued efforts, only 28 out of the 80 barangays in Cagayan de Oro have so far been declared drug cleared or drug free. This means that more than half of the barangays in the city are still grappling with drug-related issues, despite the campaign's aggressive enforcement measures. Cardona explained that the constant movement of people in, in and out of the city, which is a bustling commercial hub, makes it difficult to monitor illegal drug activities. The city's highly urbanized nature attracts a large population, including transients, making it a hotspot for drug use and distribution. The high number of drug users, combined with the continuous influx of new residents, complicates their efforts to reduce drug activities. 
Comelec limits voluntary substitution for 2025 election candidates. The Commission on Elections has announced new restrictions on voluntary substitution of candidates participating in the 2025 elections. This move aims to tighten regulations surrounding candidacies and ensure a fair electoral process. The decision follows concerns that allowing candidates to suddenly withdraw their candidacies could lead to potential abuse of the electoral system. Such abrupt changes could disrupt the integrity of the election process and lead to manipulation by candidates looking to exploit loopholes. Comelec Miss or Provincial Election Supervisor Attorney Carlito Ravello emphasized that any substitution of candidates must be completed within eight days from the filling of the certificate of candidacy. This time frame is intended to provide clarity and structure to the process, minimizing any last-minute alterations that could confuse voters or complicate the electoral process. Ravello also reiterated the importance of adhering to the upcoming COC filing schedule, which is set to take place from October 1 to 8 of this year. He urged all potential candidates to be mindful of these dates and to prepare their documentation accordingly. The restrictions aim to foster a more transparent and orderly electoral environment as the country approaches the critical 2025 elections. LGBT plus member found dead under the bed. The police are searching for three young men who were last seen with a 50-year-old LGBTQ plus member as they entered an inn on Capistrano Street, Barangay 7 in the city. This follows the discovery of the LGBTQ plus member found dead inside their room at Beatrice Inn, hidden under the bed with a towel tied around his feet. According to the initial investigation by the police, attention is focused on several room boys in the inn to determine whether the victim spent additional time with the young man. However, when there was no response, they quickly opened the room and found the victim's hand hanging down, prompting them to report it to the police. The police suspect foul play in the victim's death due to the circumstances leading them to recommend an autopsy. As of this report, the Divisoria Police Station under Major Peter Tahor has not yet identified the young men who were with the victim during check-in, which resulted in the crime. Son of ex-army suspected in gas station theft. The police have considered the case of the gas station robbery solved, despite not yet apprehending some suspects responsible for the incident in Barangay Ipunan of the city. Cagayan de Oro City Police Office spokesperson Lieutenant Colonel Evan Vinyas stated that they have identified the prime suspect, who is the son of a former soldier living in Barangay Patag in the city. Vinyas revealed that the tricab used as the getaway vehicle has also been recovered, which, which was abandoned in a remote barangay a few hours after the robbery. The assailants used a knife and made off with 4,000 pesos in earnings from the gas station in the early morning. However, this is not the first robbery incident that has occurred in the first district of the city, which includes Barangay Punat. This has caused concern among the public as the robberies have been occurring in succession. But the police regional office 10, based in Camp Alagar, clarified that there are no organized crime robbery groups that have entered the city. The easterlies refer to warm winds that typically originate from the Pacific Ocean and blow from the east. These winds usually bring humid and warm air, which can cause scattered rain showers, thunderstorms, and generally humid conditions in affected regions. In this case, southern Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, especially their eastern areas, are experiencing the effects of these easterlies. This weather pattern is common during the transition periods between dry and rainy seasons in the Philippines. The impact of the easterlies can vary but often includes an increase in cloud cover, occasional rain, and warmer temperatures.
Easterlies can also contribute to the development of localized thunderstorms, particularly in the afternoon or evening, as warm moist air raises and cools, forming rain clouds. The intensity of these effects can differ depending on the strength of the winds and the local geography. National news. Official rumor that former PNP chief may have a season go in his escape is unfunded. Information suggesting that the former Philippine National Police chief may have been involved in Alice Go's escape from the country is unfounded and merely a rumor, an official stated on Monday. The official emphasized that there is no credible evidence to support such claims which have circulated in various media outlets and social platforms. Alice Go, who is facing legal issues, reportedly left the country under suspicious circumstances, prompting speculation about possible assistance from influential figures. However, the official reiterated the investigations into her case have found no links to the former PNP chief or any allegations of collision. The PNP has also stated that they are committed to upholding the law and ensuring accountability among their ranks. They urge the public to refrain from spreading unverified information that could tarnish reputations and mislead the community. The agency is actively pursuing its own inquiries to clarify the circumstances surrounding God's departure and to address any potential breaches of protocol. <music> International News Trump excludes the possibility of running again in 2028 if he loses in the upcoming U.S. elections. Republican Donald Trump has ruled out the possibility of running again in the United States 2028 presidential election if he loses in the upcoming November poll, according to an interview aired on Sunday. In the interview, Trump expressed confidence in his chances for the 2024 election but acknowledged that a defeat could mark the end of his political ambitions. He emphasized the importance of the upcoming election, stating that it represents a pivotal moment for the Republican Party and the country as a whole. Trump's comments come as he continues to lead in the Republican primary polls, despite ongoing legal challenges and controversies surrounding his previous presidency. He also reiterated his commitment to key issues such as immigration, the economy, and law and order, which he believes resonate strongly with voters. The former president's remarks signal a strategic approach to the 2024 election as he aims to solidify his base while also reaching out to undecided voters. Political analysts are closely watching Trump's statements as they may reflect broader trends within the Republican Party and its future direction. As the election approaches, the dynamics of Trump's Candidacy will continue to shape the landscape of American politics. Entertainment Blooms get a sneak peek of Beanie's docuseries, Chapter 1, Born to Win. The first part of the docuseries chronicling the journey of the nation's girl group, Beanie, premiered on Monday at a mall in Quezon City. Titled Chapter 1, Born to Win, the series offers fans an intimate look at the group's rise to fame, detailing their early struggles, rigorous training, and eventual breakthrough in the Philippine music scene. The premiere was attended by Beanie's loyal fan base, 
known as Blooms, as well as industry insiders and media personalities. The docuseries also features behind-the-scenes footage, personal interviews with the members, and a glimpse into their lives as they navigate the pressures of Sardo. For fans, it provides a deeper connection to the group and an appreciation of the hard work and dedication that led to their success. The series is expected to release in multiple parts, highlighting key moments from the, their training days to their performances on national and international stages. The premiere was met with excitement from fans, who expressed their an anticipation for the next chapters in the series, as Beanie continues to solidify its place as one of the country's top pop groups. Sports MMA Joshua Pasho draws inspiration from Demetrius Johnson's flawless retirement. One star weight MMA world champion Joshua the Passion Pasho has always wanted to test his skills against the legendary Demetrius Johnson, but that is no longer possible after the Mighty Mouse announced his retirement. Pasho has long admired Johnson not only for his incredible skill set but also for his sportsmanship and humility inside and outside the cage. In a recent interview, Pasho expressed his disappointment over not being able to face Johnson in Octagon, noting that competing against such a revered figure would have been a career highlight. He highlighted how Johnson's groundbreaking achievements in mixed martial arts have set a standard for fighters around the world, inspiring a new generation of athletes. Pasho also mentioned that he plans to honor Johnson's legacy by continuing to improve and compete at the highest level. He aims to emulate Johnson's dedication and discipline in training while striving to make his mark in the sport. As he prepares for his next title defense, Pasho hopes to carry the spirit of competition and respect that Johnson exemplified throughout his illustrious career. International Feature Woman Caught with Suspected Cocaine Bullets in Stomach The South African Police Service released a video purporting to show bullets of suspected cocaine reportedly retrieved from the body of a suspected drug mule at OR Tambo International Airport in Johannesburg on Sunday, September 22. The police indicated that the operation was part of ongoing efforts to combat drug trafficking in the region. According to SAPS, they arrested a 30-year-old woman who had allegedly released more than 63 of these bullets suspected to be cocaine. While the exact value of the seized drugs remains un undetermined, officials noted that the potential street value could not be significant, highlighting the severity of drug trafficking in South Africa. Authorities conducted an X-ray examination, which they stated confirmed and detected foreign objects in the stomach of the arrested individual. This method has become increasingly common in drug interdiction efforts, allowing law enforcement to identify concealed substances. The SAPs emphasized the dangers associated with drug smuggling, both for the individuals involved and for public safety. They are continuing their investigation to determine if there are further complices or networks involved in the drug trafficking operation. The police also urged the public to report any suspicious activities related to drug trafficking to help combat his ongoing issue. National Feature Piston, Manibela hold transport strike anew. Government downplays impact. Transport groups Piston and Manibela staged another transport strike on Monday, September 23, protesting rising fuel prices and public transport regulations. The strike disrupted various routes across Metro Manila and nearby provinces, 
significantly affecting commuters reliant on jeepneys and other public transport. In response, government officials downplay the protests' effects, highlighting the av availability of alternative transport and assuring the public that the situation was being monitored. They stated that the strike would not have a long-term impact on services. The transport groups reiterated their demands for fair fuel prices, improved working conditions, and increased government support for the transport sector. Having organized similar strikes before, leaders affirmed their commitment to continue taking action until their concerns are addressed. Many commuters expressed frustration over the inconvenience, while others supported the group's efforts to raise awareness about their struggles. Discussions between transport leaders and government representatives are ongoing as they seek potential resolutions. Trivia what does spicy food do to your body? Eating spicy foods offers many health benefits, primarily due to capsin in chili peppers. Eating spicy foods offers many health benefits, primarily due to capsin in chili peppers. It boosts metabolism, raising body temperature and aiding in calorie burning, which can help with weight management. Capsaicin also supports heart health by lowering bad cholesterol and improving circulation, while its anti-inflammatory effects benefit cardiovascular health. Spicy foods can provide natural pain relief, desensitizing pain receptors, improve digestion by stimulating digestive juices, and promote gut health by fighting harmful bacteria. Rich in vitamins and antioxidants like vitamin C and beta-carotene, chili peppers also strengthen the immune system. Additionally, spicy foods trigger endorphin release, enhancing mood and reducing stress. Regular consumption may promote longevity by lowering the risk of heart disease, respiratory conditions, and certain cancers. Capsaicin also acts as natural decongestant and may help manage inflammation, arthritis, and even inhibit cancer cell growth. While spicy foods offer many advantages, it's important to consume them in moderation, especially for those with sensitive stomachs or digestive issues. And that was the information we got from here and abroad. Keep listening and watching. Thank you very much for tuning in and have a wonderful day. If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community.